Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to wire a relay up to the starter motor in a 1985 Toyota 4Runner, also known as a Surf. This model has the 2L diesel in it. Um, so some parts you're going to need are the relay itself. I went with a 12 volt, 40 amp, normally open relay. A couple of lengths of cable, positive and negative. A few fittings, uh, some heat shrink tools you're going to need, wire stripper, um, crimper, pliers and pop rivet eyes. I'm going to use a pop rivet to mount the relay itself. Uh, the reason for doing this is it eliminates a lot of volt drop which is pretty common in these models. Uh, just gives you a stronger start and can get rid of any faults that your starter motor may get from not getting enough volts through to it. Now for the sake of the video I've already prepared my power in and my earth cable. Uh, to do that you can see I've put an eyelet on the power and the earth and also the female of a spade bit um, which will attach to the relay. Now what you want to do is you want to find the trigger wire for your starter motor and that's going to become both the switch and power out cable um, for the relay. So to find that, you're going to look down at your starter motor and it's going to be this one here at the back, which in my case is black with a yellow stripe. Now if you follow the loom up, you'll see it's just here on the passenger side with a black and white cable. Now, obviously, as I said, black with yellow is the one that we want. So now you're gonna to wanna to cut and reveal a section of this cable. So if we cut it and strip it, so that we can put a couple more of these female adapters on it, It'll give us what we need to then finish off fitting, plugging into the relay itself. So to figure out where to actually mount your relay, make sure you go somewhere where you can get both your power in, your power out, and your switch wire all at the same all at the same place and then what you're going to do you're going to put the mount in with your earth wire as well so i'm going right here i'm going to mount right here i'm going to pop rivet it in with my earth cable pop riveted to the mount itself Now what you're going to want to do, this card is going to tell you what goes where. So as you can see, pin 30 is power in. So if you look at the back of the relay itself, you can see that pin 30 is right here. So these are where all your numbers are. So you're going to want to follow this, this guide, and plug them all in. First I'm going to go with power in. So. Power in is the one that comes straight from your battery. Alright guys, now what we're going to do, we're going to skip past plugging in the earth because we'll do that last. We're going to move straight on to plugging in the switch wire. Now the switch wire, number 86, is going to plug into 86 here. So the switch wire is going to be one of the original uh, black with a uh, yellow sections, but the one that's not going to the starter motor itself, it'll be the other one. So we'll go ahead and plug that one in, which is now what that will do. When I turn the key, power is going to still come through this black with yellow stripe, closing the relay, which will allow power to come from the battery into the relay and then through to our accessory 
out, number 87. So, accessory out, obviously, the starter motor being our accessory is going to be the other section of the black with the yellow stripe. So, 87 is, not sure if you can see it from there, 87 is this, this one right here. So, we'll plug him in, which is just going to leave us with our earth. So, now that they're all in, plug the earth in, <coughs> turn it round. Mount her up, and that's it, guys. All done. So, as you can see from the battery, my secondary battery, you've got your power, you got your earth, which is just earth back to the body, and <clears throat> your black with yellow cable just comes in and straight back out into your starter motor.